After receiving the One UI 6.1.1 update on my S24 Ultra, it is about time to check again 12 megapixel photo versus 50 megapixel photo and 200 megapixel photo. Now, you might ask yourself the question why? Well, the answer is shown on the screen. Previously, with One UI 6.1, the shots between 12 megapixel and 50 megapixel were very much different. Something like this we can still see here, but I do believe that Samsung are taking this to the right direction. And by different, I just mean they all look like just taken by three different fonts, which is of course not acceptable. And you might want to check my Pixel 9 Pro XL video where I tested the same 12 megapixel versus 50 megapixel and the results were so much better. I mean, so much better, really. You can tell it's taken from the very same phone camera and all the colors look the same. The overall feeling, the whole ambience, the color rendition is just a part of it, but then the way the processing is applied was absolutely still the same in many of the cases. So this is the intro and I'll start a video. On the left, you can see the 12 megapixel output with the shutter speed, the ISO, and also the aperture. They're all taken by the main camera, so F is gonna be 107 everywhere. In the center, we do have the 50 megapixel, right? and you can tell by the resolution. And of course, on the right, we have the whooping 200 megapixel. So we are gonna check not only for consistency in terms of everything I said in the intro, color edition, the whole ambience, how we handle highlights and shadows, the overall processing, but also we are going to check for that detail. Okay, so right now I am at 100%. Okay, so we can already see that uh, the 50 megapixel is way sharper and sharpness is a problem for the Galaxy. And by the way, sharpness is also a problem for the Pixel. It applies it quite too much and I don't like it in most of the time. So there is one thing, of course, you can try to edit it and make it look better, but overall this sharp processing is something that is present. It's very prominent in the Galaxy Photos and sadly also in my Pixel 9 Pro XL test the same. But take a look here guys, speaking about detail, the 12 megapixel shot is <laughs> like this, we are already at 300% zoom on the 12 megapixel photo, 140% zoom on the 50 megapixel photo and only 75%, so it's not even 100 on the 200 megapixel photo and you can totally see really 12 megapixel, almost not able to recognize what's written here, 50 megapixel just getting a bit better, but then of course the lines are not even so straight and then whoom, the 200 megapixel really looks so much better and then 200 megapixel whoom, so much better in terms of things like this. Now, what about the color rendition, guys? Let me just go and show you. I do believe that Samsung really optimized it because it was so much worse with One UI 6 and then 6.1. Now with 6.1.1, I do believe it's just getting better. Now pay attention to the colors of the flowers and I do realize that it's not 100% the same, but still overall, you can probably tell, listen, this is shot from the same phone. Now the 50 megapixel shot is somehow brighter and the 200 megapixel shot is somehow on the darker side but those are things that are not so dramatic and in terms of detail i do believe it's absolutely clear we have a winner it's and 200 megapixel so 12 looks as though a bit more natural at 50 megapixel yeah i don't really like the output let me know guys what you think down below in the comments i do believe that 50 should be kind of like the sweet spot as we can do, for example, 24 megapixel on the iPhones that have a 48 megapixel sensor. Here we have 200 megapixels, so maybe 50 should have been like the sweet spot. But if you want to go for the extra detail, then for sure nothing can beat the 200 megapixel shot. The same scenario here, 12 megapixel on the left, 50 megapixel in the center and 200 megapixel, 36 megabytes on the right. Now, these guys is even better. Why? Because, again, it really looks like taken from one and the same phone. I do believe that this is getting closer because if we have to observe the colors um, from the church on all three photos, I do believe that this time, yeah, probably just this time, Samsung are able to perform this stunt. And let me just try to equalize it a bit for you, checking on that detail. And this here is absolutely crazy, but also explainable. 
when we are at 163% zoom at the 12 megapixel shot, we can already see how we are starting to get in the water painting scenario. The 50 megapixel shot, of course, is better. And I know some people will say, yeah, you know, 200 megapixel is just a gimmick. And I myself also think that it's an overkill because we don't really need 200 megapixel, but because we have it, why not use it? And just take a look here at the pillars, guys. We just see the pillar and we just see some gray and some white, some silver. On the 50 megapixel, we can try to already start seeing some details here and maybe a bit of a brown. And the photo from the 200 megapixel camera will tell us the whole story. And it's not just the pillar here, it's almost everything else. Let's try to compare this clock, all right? 12 megapixel, 50 megapixel, 200 megapixel. And by the way, guys, I do like how 12 megapixel looks like. So if you're not zooming in like this, almost 300%, of course, you know, it's gonna get bad, but if you are not zooming in so much, it's gonna be okay. 200 megapixel at 80% looks just fantastic. What I don't like is the 50 megapixel output. Somehow I thought the 50 megapixel should have been a bit better now. For sure, there are more things captured there, but overall it looks really way more different from the 12 and the 200. So this is kind of it. And of course there is pixel binning going on. So it's just processing. Take a look at the birds here, guys. So here we can see the birds at 200 megapixel. They're very much there. And you can also see the patterns here. Everything's so nice. And here in the 50 megapixel, it doesn't look so great. Also, let's try to compare this here. At 12 megapixel, we can of course recognize it's a piece of art. At 50 megapixel, <laughs> it just get maybe a bit sharper, but take a look at the whooping 1 megapixel. You cannot only recognize that it's a mosaic, but also try to see the letters and i do have one more example for you again we go 12 megapixel 50 megapixel and then 200 megapixel so let's directly go and zoom here and check what happens and honestly in this type of scenario the 50 megapixel isn't that bad all right we can recognize curtains here recognize also some lights that are very visible here on the 200 megapixel so in this type of shot just take a look at this 12 megapixel at 326 percent absolutely understood 200 megapixel just looks the same but sharper and somehow 50 megapixel doesn't look that great i'm not very impressed with the 50 megapixel mode i would go for either 12 or for 200 megapixel we can also try to compare the greenery this is the 12 megapixel situation 200 megapixel situation and then yet the 50 megapixel just looks a bit disappointing so i do believe that samsung will need to further work on it guys let me know what you think down below in the comments would you go with 12 would you go with 50 or 200 what do you think about the 50 megapixels do you share my opinion do you think that 12 and 200 are okay but then the 50 needs more work or you have of course an opinion of your own thank you so much for watching guys stay safe vst over and bye